Hey everyone, we are Acrovan Adventures and in today's video we are going to show you how to build a bed frame for your school bus. Plus the bonus, we're going to show you how we built our headboard with storage built in. So as far as other types of bed goes, we chose to build our whole bed out of 2x3s. The main reason being we wanted to span the entire bed area without having any vertical supports in the middle. We've seen some builds where you can have thinner wood on top, or maybe you just use bed slats from Ikea. Those are not as strong, and they usually need some kind of support down the middle from like a storage shelf or a cabinet or something like that. You'll see in ours, we have the entire underneath open. So because of that, we needed to use a bit stronger wood on top, still allowing for our mattress um, to sit on it comfortably and for it to not break. Another thing to keep in mind, some people choose to build a frame and then put slats across it. We are not gonna be using a box spring. Our mattress is gonna go straight on. So we decided to build our bed frame and the supports in one. Because of that, each board is fairly close to each other, which is why you see so many here. We have seen some bed designs where you just put a solid piece of plywood on top. What happens then is you will get mold under your mattress, which is not gonna be fun for anybody because when you live in a van, it's very humid all the time. Your moisture just from breathing will make the whole atmosphere humid. So we've seen some people who drill holes in that board so that they can air out the mattress underneath or maybe using sub carpet as kind of an air barrier. We found that just putting our bed frame slats um, fairly close together provides more than enough support for our mattress without sinking through and allows us to maximize the airflow underneath so we don't have to worry about mold at all. All right, we're building the bed. A lot of different ways you can do this. We're gonna just build a frame. We're gonna put some two by fours as posts and then we're gonna put some slats across it. And that's it. Uh, the only unique thing about our bed is that we wanted some storage at the headboard. The bus is 90-ish inches on the inside. A queen bed is 80 inches long. So we have about 10 inches where we can put little cubbies or something. So we're gonna make our bed a little bit longer than a queen needs to be. It will be the correct width our bed frame is going to be 90 by 60. We started by getting the correct measurements for the 2x3s and cutting them to the right size so that we could make the outside of the bed frame. We then put two Craig holes on each side of the 2x3. We set the Craig jig to 1.5 inches. Once we finished making Craig holes, we started to assemble the bed frame. We used a corner clamp to help keep the joint aligned and used two and a half inch Craig screws. After we had the frame, we tested it out in the bus but realized it was a little too big, so we had to disassemble the frame and cut it a bit shorter, which is what you see us doing here in this video. After we had the frame the right size, we measured and cut 2x3s for the slats and put two Craig holes on each end of every piece. We assembled the bed frame and slats on the bus floor and secured them together with wood glue and 2.5 inch Craig screws. Note that we put the slats flat on the ground while the frame pieces were vertical, which means we had to make sure that each slat was flush with the frame by pushing both pieces against the ground when we screwed them together. Once the bed top was complete, we set it in place and added four 2x4s as legs. We connected each leg using wood glue and some screws. We quickly realized that we wouldn't be able to maneuver it into place with all four legs, so we had to remove two, set the bed upright, and then put the other two legs back on. From there, we added four additional 2x4 legs for extra support. After our bed was fully built, we brought in our storage unit and our kitchen frame to make sure that everything fit perfectly. Once we knew that everything fit, we started to secure the bed down using L brackets and the L brackets were more than enough to keep the bed sturdy and in place as we were moving. 
All right, and now that our bed frame is done, we are gonna show you how we built our headboard with storage. So we are building this cabinet. This is gonna go up behind our bed. What we've done so far is we've just taken three quarter inch plywood for the sides and the bottom. We Craig screwed them together. We used half inch plywood on the back because we didn't need so much weight or support. And what we're doing now is we're gonna build one shelf in here. Um, this shelf is actually gonna be below our mattress. So the mattress is gonna sit kinda of like up to here. We're gonna put this shelf in here and we want it to be removable so that we can just put clothes in there, take the shelf out, put it back in pretty easily. So what we find is really easy to build a removable shelf is the front end can just support the front and then you need something in the back to support it. So, so what we've done is we just used some pieces of scrap wood here. Um, this is just leftover from our other cuts. We drilled a couple holes and we can just secure that on here and then it'll be pretty easy to just slide it right over and put it on the front. Um, the reason I'm gonna use scrap wood instead of an L bracket is because the L bracket sticks out twice as far, pretty far. Um, and then this is a lot sharper, so I'm afraid if we reach our hands in there, we're gonna like scratch ourselves. So we're gonna put the wood on the back, that way it can have a nice soft edge and it's not gonna be so uh, invasive into the space. thing we need to do is add a little lip or something so that it can't slide out while we're driving. So again, just took some scrap wood. We're just going to put it on the back a little or on the bottom just offset a little bit. Okay, so this is our storage headboard. It's going to go um, above our heads on our bed. Um, what this is going to do is actually going to sit on our bed frame and the mattress will come up to about here on this, but we want it to still have storage within here and then a shelf on top. So these shelves are removable. We can store a bunch of stuff in here. This is pretty deep. It's like 11 inches, so there's plenty of space for sweatshirts or clothes or whatever we want. You slide right back on. Um, and then we'll be able to put more stuff on here and there's gonna be room over top so we can put things on the very top. All this is is three quarter inch plywood. We framed it all along the sides in the middle. We put half inch plywood as the backboard. You could use whatever you want there. And then more three quarter inch plywood here. So just some plywood and some screws and then we have a nice sturdy storage area. Lessons learned, make sure you leave a little bit of wiggle room when you're gonna be building because it's very tight in a bus and if you build the whole frame outside, it's gonna be really hard to turn it and get it into place once you do that. One thing that we have seen some people do is build directly inside the van or the bus. When you do that, it's great, but then you're never gonna be able to take it out if you need to. So keep them both in mind, but either way works.
The outside and the middle of our bed are two by threes that are the tall way going up and down. The inside slats are two by threes or two by fours, whatever we had left over, going flat ways. That way, the tall ones are providing most of our structural support and the small ones are just providing that support for our mattress. We have seen some people build their entire frame with the two by fours or two by threes the flat way so that they're thinner from top to bottom to save space in their build. However, your two by fours are much less strong if you do it that way. So we recommend using two by threes, which are a little bit thinner, but putting the tall way up and down so that you get the most strength out of your bed. The supports underneath our bed are just made out of two by fours. We started with four, but decided to go with eight, mostly because it provides more stability with the bed while we're driving or moving so that it doesn't shake in any direction. We then secured those two by fours to the floor using just L brackets, and that also added a ton of structural integrity to the build. You don't have to worry about it at all anymore. Keep in mind that if you're putting your bed fairly high, you might jump up on it sometimes, and that's gonna put a lot of stress on your bed. If you're trying to save space by making your bed a little bit thinner, be aware. If you're sitting on it while it's driving or bumping or you jump on it, it's very possible to break your mattress, break your bed. So just be cognizant of that. So you definitely want it to be strong enough to support you. One other thing that you might want to keep in mind is as you're building your bed, it's possible that you're going to be using it for other things underneath it. You could hang hooks on it for a backpack. You can run your plumbing or electrical wires on there. We use our bed for tons of things. So it's important to make sure you have enough space. You've thought about what it's going to look like underneath and that you've built it strong enough to hold any of the weight that's underneath it as well. like this video make sure you watch the rest of our build series and subscribe to our channel. We're Acrobrand Adventures, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.